Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Upper St. Clair High School. We're here for tonight's match between the Upper St. Clair Panthers and the Colts from Chartiers Valley. I'm Rob Mertz. I'm here with Gavin Williams. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing really well, thanks. I heard, <laughs> uh, heard I missed some uh, outstanding soccer this weekend uh, as the Panthers kicked off the season. Yeah, it was a uh, couple good results against some quality teams and uh, at, a, at a great venue down there in Highmark Stadium. Panthers really fortunate to be uh, scheduled to play there four times during the regular season this year, so they're really, uh, really lucky in that regard. Absolutely, I was down for a couple Riverhounds games earlier this year, and it is top-notch, first class. And uh, they got Bethel Park there later, which is going to be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, it will be. Um, so tonight, a uh, little bit of an interesting uh, lineup here for the Panthers. A couple things uh, you notice right off the bat: Captain Troy Kiernan on the bench to start the game. Uh, I don't know what kind of. Uh, Injury uh, is leading to that, but um, I know Troy's been nursing a couple things throughout the preseason, so uh, maybe uh, Coach just decided to uh, give him a break here from the starting lineup. He's got his cleats on, so maybe we'll see him later, but uh, not sure. Also uh, of, of note is the fact that our uh, senior keeper, Will Petley, is out tonight. So uh, Mac Dominic, uh, freshman, starting in goal. So uh, we'll see how Mac fares in here and uh, set the starting lineup. Across the back, we got McKenzie, Hateman, Bernhardt, and Blake. Uh, the two holding midfielders are Heil and Miller. Um, Robbie Mertz at the attacking mid, uh, Shane Sibley and Dom Caruso at the outside midfielders. And up top, uh, we got the battleship, Joel Hart. He's been firing away with his at 16 inch guns of his, and we're, uh, we're hoping to see some of that tonight. So we'll see. Um, what Chartres Valley brings, uh, they've got some talented players. It's going to be a good game. This is our first section game, correct? Uh-oh. Yep, and here right off the bat, another foul. We talked about this this weekend um, with, with um, St. Clair fouling just an excessive number of fouls in the defensive half of the field. This one in a really dangerous spot, just right outside the 18-yard box on the right side. So right off the bat here, goalie Mac Dominic can be tested. And then this is obviously some baptism under fire. you got a, a kid who's probably really nervous in cage. Not a whole lot of experience, but uh, this is not where the situation you wanted to put yourself in early. And uh, for the Colts, freshman Sean Tinney took that uh, kick and hit it well wide. So, you know, you're not sure whether the Colts have the message yet uh, that there's, <laughs> there's a uh, freshman in goal. But, um, you know, let's see. And I know Mac has played a lot of soccer. He's played a lot of cup soccer, and he uh, should be fine as long as uh, his defensemen uh, do their part tonight. And he's got a nice, experienced back line in front of him. Uh, I mean, Blake and Bernhardt, it seems like, have been here forever, and they're only juniors. And, and uh, Hateman and McKenzie, that's a strong back four. That ball's going to be off of Shane Sibley for a Colts throw. Um, you know, the Panthers, it, it, it's, it's interesting. They come in with a very big reputation uh, locally and nationally even, and uh, they've done everything <laughs> to live up to that so far, beating two very quality teams this weekend in Wilson and Exeter. Um, but this is uh, sort of a whole different animal, not from a skill standpoint, but from a rivalry standpoint, familiarity standpoint. So it'll be interesting to see how the Panthers respond this evening. Well, I think you can plan on Chartres Valley being very direct tonight, um, trying to play forward quickly. Get it up to their front runners. St. Clair needs to counter that with the possession. Here's oh, what a, a ball through from Mertz. Hart's on side all the way into the box. Hey, <laughs> shoots and scores. Joel Hart puts it away to stake the Panthers to an early 1-0 lead. Good job by Robbie there to turn into midfield and see the space. And Joel just ran right past everyone. And he was in and made no mistake right in the back post. If you've been watching so far, you'll notice they already did almost the identical thing on the first play of the game. And Joel was just barely off sides. And it looks like they're trying, uh, Chartres Valley is trying to trap high, the offsides trap. And they did not do a very good job there because that wasn't even close to being offsides. And Joel was in free and he doesn't miss those very often. Great ball by Mertz. Yeah, that's a really nice goal. Hope to see a lot of that uh, this year. That was, um, that's what you want to see, that the recognition from the midfield um, that there's space in behind those defenders. They were playing a high line, like you were saying, and just too much space, and they didn't drop off. When Robbie turned, he had his head up. He had opportunity to serve the ball. They didn't drop, and he just played it through, and <laughs> Joel ran right past him. And so, the other problem with playing a high line, you're not going to catch Joel. Yeah, <laughs> There's he, no uh, chance. That was just that was good stuff. 
I'd like to see that. Here's Robbie again at midfield. Decides to lay it back to Garrett outside and just keep possession for the Panthers. So that's big. That's big for, for, this, for this goalie. A little bit of breathing room right off the bat. That That's just a really big early goal for the Panthers. And, you know, when you're the favorite and, and they're going to be in almost every game this year, you don't want to let teams hang around. Because anything can happen with set pieces and, and, you know, and sometimes last year, especially early in the season, this team had trouble finishing and, and let some teams hang around, and you don't want to see that. Here's Mertz again, turns, 35 yards out, plays it through this Caruso. Oh. Oh. He had Caruso on the run, but Joel held that ball up. Going around the right side now, Joel will get service here. In the box is Caruso, ball right across the six-yard box. Nice service from Joel, but that's, uh, oh, here it goes. It's, oh, oh, great volley. with a turning side volley. So Joel ended up getting that ball as it was cleared out, out of the middle of the area. He played it right back in and Shane side volleyed it, but a really nice save from what is a very, very accomplished goalie uh, in the Chartiers Valley Nets. And um, it's gonna be a real interesting uh, matchup all night to see how we handle. There's a long ball served off a corner. There's Blake. Very high, very long over the goal. Doug did a good job heading that ball back out for a, a direct strike, but it just was hopping on Garrett. Yes, Calvin Boyle, trying to remember his name. <laughs> Seen him a lot in cup soccer. He's uh, He plays ODP. Um, he's played on a regional level. He's, he's very accomplished in goal, and um, – It'll be tough to solve tonight, so it, again, it's nice to get that early one. Here's Bernhardt finding Mertz, flicks it on to Caruso on the right side. He pulls it back, looks for Hart trying to combine with him, but uh, pass just a little too slow. Here's Miller. Caruso again near midfield. So I, I still think the best way we're gonna defend tonight is to just keep the ball. <laughs> if we can just keep passing the ball and, and not let them build up. And here's Chartier's Valley on an early break. Wow. Shoots and scores. So Tinney played through there. And that was, uh, you know, that's the kind of ball that we can't uh, afford to let them get because that uh, really nothing, nothing that Mac could do there. Um, he was in six yards out and just finished into the back post. The disappointing thing there is it started with a giveaway, an unforced giveaway in the, uh, you know, kind of the defensive midfield. Yeah, that's a good point. And, and it wasn't like it was a big buildup. It just was a giveaway, a couple passes, a really nice through ball by Tenney. And uh, make no mistake about it, that's a shot you should finish, and it was a good strike and a good finish. So we're even at one, no blood. Mertz trying to find Sibley down to the corner. There goes Shane with his wheels, gets to the end line, stops it, pulls it back. Ooh, I thought can't that was quite, across the yeah, line. Yeah, can't get one, uh, can't quite get past the one man. There is so much pace from the Panther front line right now that uh, it's it's really something to watch with Sibley and Hart. Miller's so got, that's, Miller's, uh, yeah. for, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. That's mm -hmm. uh, first goal conceded by the Panthers this season. Yeah, bound to happen. Get it out of your system. Here's Robbie in the mid. Showing good poise, he turns, gonna change the point of attack here. Doug Hateman, got a little bit of room here. Nice little direct ball. Sibley tried to play one touch to Joel. Still bouncing, now it's up in the air and out of bounds for a Panther throw. McKenzie is there to take it. So the Colts right now full of belief, uh, full of belief that they can remain in this game with the Panthers. It's 1-1, we're about seven minutes in. Call it six minutes, two early goals. Now the Panthers playing a little long ball. Sibley is gonna win it. Not out, Robbie's gonna take that back. Nice little spin to control. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Spins out to the back left. Robbie's got a little room. Crossing with his left, but cleared out of danger. Some good stuff from Robbie up the wing there. And that, that's, you talked about the Colts playing direct. That's, that's a good tactic by the Panthers. If they can just disrupt and, and get numbers back, I don't think they're gonna concede you know, very many more good opportunities. Well, again, it's the same thing that happened to the Colts on the on the Hart goal, happened to us. There was a midfielder, head up, had time to serve, and we did not drop. Um, in that situation, when, when a midfielder has his head up and can look to play the ball downfield, the back four has to be dropping off. Here's a giveaway to Mertz. He's 25 out, oh, he misread with uh, Hart there. I'm not sure whether he's looking for Shane or Joel. Just trying to go over top and chip that, but uh, 
Maybe Robbie had a little more time there and could have uh, carried that ball in and looked to combine on the ground with one of those front runners. Here's Blake, heads to Caruso on the far side. Miller controls. Oh, Robbie got a little toe on that. Nice, nice solid tackle from the Colt. Left outside defense for a Panther throw. Oh yeah, Garrett's going long here and That's Robbie long. knew it was coming. Down to the end line as Mertz keeps it in to the corner. Tries to pull it back and win a throw and he will do that. So here's the first long throw opportunity of the game for the Panthers. Yeah, I mean, you can tell these guys have played together a long time. Robbie immediately took off. He knew who was throwing the ball and that quick restart almost got an opportunity. Here comes Blake. Oh, he slipped a little bit coming off the track there. Here's Caruso back out to Blake. Ball goes underneath his foot though and it'll be a Chartier Valley Colt throw. It ended up not being all that ineffective, but uh, yeah, usually Garrett launches that, but he lost his footing, unfortunately. You can hear the, the, the Chartier's Valley coaching staff saying, let them have it, meaning they're okay with us possessing the ball in our own half of the field. Um, they're fine with that, in fact. They won't, they won't try to defend us until we get into their half of the field. So you might see a lot of play through our back four tonight. As long as this game is even, they can set numbers behind the ball. Let's not kid ourselves. That's you know a tactic we saw a lot last year. That's better. Long from throw back post by Blake. There's Mertz. Oh, he touched it back, but unfortunately, we didn't have a second guy to win the ball. I love that tactic. Miller going back in the box. Caruso had to check back on size, but Pat Miller wins it again. There's Hart. Picks up the loose ball. There's Miller. Top of the D. Back to Hart. I think he's off. He's going to be off sides by a yard, though. It was good anticipation and a really nice job by Pat Miller to win it. Unfortunately, Joel was in an offsides position, or he was once again one on one with the keeper. So we're about 10 minutes into the contest here. Uh, the Panthers have conceded their first goal of the season, but it is one to one on a goal by Joel Hart for the Panthers. And Dom Caruso doing nice work up his preferred, oh no, he's on the right side, but using his preferred left foot. Hateman, he's gonna play a little long to Sibley, miss hit that one a little bit. Nice little turn. Sort of a, Sort of a, uh, oh, Shane was trying to do a little stop and go there. Couldn't get enough room on the wing there. And we will have our first sub of the game, and it will be a Colt sub. Number 35, Tom Kovach in the game. It's a, a, a certainly a fall night, Rob. It's not a, it shouldn't be any cramping or anything tonight. It's a little chilly and a little windy. I was um, trying to go with short sleeves tonight saying it's September 3rd, darn it, and I'm not wearing a jacket, but uh, I broke down. <laughs> a little well, too cold tonight. Well, so, so sure enough, as sur sure as we are, uh, we're speculating, here comes senior captain Troy Kiernan on for Dom Caruso. It looks like Adam Heil is going to move out to the right flank, and Troy's going to take his usual spot in the middle of the field. Kenzie with the throw, trying to find Kiernan in the center circle. Miller turns it over to Tinney. He comes with a head of steam across midfield. Little move around Blake on the outside. Tries to beat Miller, who's tracked back to defend. That's good team defending. Yeah, good hustle by, by Pat there. He gave it away in the midfield, and he didn't uh, stop till he got the ball back for his team. Sibley finds That's Mertz. A nice ball. Good control. Looking long for Hart in the corner. Here's Heil rushing through. His touch is uh, a little too far, though. I think Robbie was trying to hit that ball more to the flag to find Joel in the channel down there, but uh, it ended up going central. I think coach, uh, coach is imploring them to play a little bit more of their usual possession game, but getting a little too direct at times, um, although it did result in the goal, so you got to sort of be careful what you wish for. There's Robbie wide. He's got Joel in the middle, runs at that outside back, cuts it back inside of the middle, comes across, nice. finds uh, Kiernan there, and a the ball just off of his foot. Robbie gets it back off the clearance, plays Shane wide, the corner of the area, makes a move, comes in on his right foot, passes across to uh, 
My eyes are failing me. Heil lays it off to Kiernan and shoots it high and wide. So that's good ball movement by the Really Panthers nice. There. Much better possession. You know, Troy just entered the game. That's a little much to expect him without being warmed up at all to come in and hit a perfect ball. But um, you already saw a little bit of the chemistry that Troy Kiernan and Robbie Mertz have together. That's from a couple of years of playing in the midfield together. There's some great chemistry there. So Boyle with a long goal kick. Play on, okay. Sibley's got a little bit of space here. Robbie Mertz is making a run. Oh, that's a nice Great ball. Outside of the football, here's Robbie into the area. Brings it out towards the touch line. Turns his defender, looking to lay it into Shane. Not what he wanted to do there. Should have just played into the space in front of Shane, let him run on it, didn't have to play to feet there. Ball back for Bernhardt to Hateman. There's Miller. It's interesting. The, the, because the Colts are trying to trap high, as we mentioned earlier, that's sort of the, the tactic the Panthers are going to try to play is those through balls to have their forwards run on. And it's a fine line. It is a really dangerous strategy to employ against the Panthers because of their pace. Here comes Hart with a turn. Hits one from a full 30 yards out. Not a bad strike. I don't know if he was tried to catch the goalie leaning and go near post. Uh, goalie was obviously there, but uh, you know, not a bad tactic, even when you do have an outstandingly accomplished keeper, as the Colts do. So the, the, the field is tilting a little bit here. Uh, Panthers are, are starting to dominate both territorially and in the possession game. It's Kiernan winning that first ball off the goal kick. Really important for the Panthers tonight. They need to, they need to assert their dominance off of those set piece situation. Troy goes wide for Heil. Can he keep it in out there? He does. Ball had a little backspin on it. Here comes Heil back to Blake. Gets in on his left foot, has a go. I think it was deflected a little bit, judging by the spin. Yeah, I think you're right. And uh, in the, the waiting arms of Calvin Boyle. So we're going to once again see, uh, just as you mentioned, winning those, uh, you know, the head balls, the set piece balls, the 50-50 balls. You know, and, and one of the things that we haven't mentioned, but, you know, the Panthers, some of the guys they lost in graduation were some of their best at that. Kevin Muck was a great ball winner, he you was. know, even Wes for that. And so, um, you know, guys step up and, 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 you know, from all indications from talking to the kids and, and talking to you, hey, Hayden really stepped in that role and did a wonderful job this weekend. Kiernan wide near side to Sibley. He's running at the outside back, gets in on his right foot, pulls it back. He's fouled, so we'll get a set piece chance here. Shane's down. Looks like he took a knock to his uh, left leg. Looked like they stepped on the back of his foot, I think. He's up, feeling it a little bit, but looks like he's okay. So uh, Joel Hart's standing over this attempt. He's 21 yards out. This is a danger, dangerous in both position and angle. So uh, goalie Boyle telling him, uh, telling his wall to cover the near post. Joel hits it. That's going to go high and uh, over the net. Yeah, you can tell by Joel's body language he wasn't real pleased with that strike. Um, I mean, Joel Hart can really flush a soccer ball. So, I mean, he's dangerous in that, that spot for sure. The kick from Boyle. He Better can, one by Heil. He can change field position in a hurry. Boyle can. So the Panthers are going to reset it here and try again. The possession game for the Panthers has been a little inconsistent early. Wow, what a long throw. Yeah, That's an amazing Yeah, and that results in a, a throw that we can put on net here, or in, into the area anyway. Um, Robbie and Garrett. Garrett's going to go for the throw. Throws the corner to Robbie. Flicks back towards the end line. He's fouled there. We'll get a set piece chance. You know, that happened many times the second half against Wilson. They could go short here, and they do. Play short. Robbie defended by two. Plays to Garrett. Serves it in. But that's uh, near post with no one making that run. So one thing there, uh, if they're going to play short, 
the service has to come quickly. Um, really want to play short there just to change the angle on the kick. Certainly it's well within range of, of getting it there. Here's Mertz looking for a ball in midfield, gets around one man. Back to Kiernan, wide for McKenzie at midfield. Right now, Char Valley swarming on defense. There's Tinney to Tinney, brothers out there, senior and freshman. The senior Jesse, the freshman Sean. There's Kiernan to Heil, forward to Mertz. Looking to play Hart, and he's fouled right near midfield. You can tell Chartres Valley doesn't have the, the same skill set in order to play possession like that. They're going to have to be a little more direct. The Panthers got to settle this down and start uh, controlling the ball more consistently. Nice ball. Heil very Heil nice. Heil through for hard into the area, down to the end line, shoots. Oh, wide of that near post. He had Kieran in the middle, Joel saying, hey, sorry, Troy. <laughs> I was going to give it a go there. And yeah, no tough to tell from here what his angle looked like. You know, I mean, when you're as accomplished of a goal scorer as, as Joel is, it's hard to sort of question when he wants to go on net. No, absolutely not. Yeah, I'm just, I think Troy was saying back to him, don't worry about it, man. Have a go there. I'll, header won by Mertz in the middle of the field. Second ball by Charval, but Miller picks up the mail down the right side. Sort of shoved from behind, and uh, Charvalli comes up with it. That's going to be a card. Yeah, Pat's going to get uh, a card here. Clock's going to stop. Looks like this uh, Charval player's shoulders hurt, maybe. Maybe separated shoulder or something. I don't want to speculate. Maybe dislocated. Yeah, dislocated. He's in considerable pain right now. So did Pat get the card? Yes, he did. He'll have to come off for a few minutes. I mean, I think he thought incorrectly that he was fouled on the play, but uh, you can't retaliate. And as a result, he's going to have to go off for a little bit here with a yellow card in our first booking of the afternoon. Yellow card to the injured player also. Uh, I think he may have, uh, af well after that play, kicked um, kicked out at <clears throat> Pat Miller there. So two yellow cards. So our first bit of chippiness uh, so far tonight is you really do expect that in these rivalry games. <laughs> so I, I, who came on for the Panthers? I didn't see. Um, it looks like Joseph Bell came on. Heil will slide back into that holding midfield position, and Bell will go outside on the right where um, where Adam was. I see him. This is my first uh, first look at the uh, Joseph Bell, the newcomer to the district. That's beautiful from Kiernan. Harvey needs to keep it simple here and beautiful. does. Finds Troy's feet. He's got Bell wide, decides to dribble into the D. There's Oh, just tried to lay it out into the Joe's path there. Um, couldn't quite do that. Here's Bernhardt. Cuts that ball outside to Blake. Comes back to Hateman. His long ball won by Charval. They'll come forward, but lay it out wide to their outside back on the left. Here comes Blake up to intercept the pass. Good step. Bell to Mertz. Cuts it back. Oh, finds a through ball. Not quite able to get to Garrick the sliding uh, save from Kyle Fisher there in the back line for the Colts. That was a nice play because he was home free on that ball if it gets through. Here's Robbie again trying to touch He's back. He's dispossessed at midfield. Panthers rushing back to get behind the ball. Shot from Charval well over the goal. That'll roll into the gymnasium. So it looks like we have Dom Caruso back in, replacing Joel Hart, and is it Pizone? Anthony Pizone is on for, not sure who's coming off. Someone else needs to come off here. I guess Shane came oh, off. Oh, he did, I didn't see him. He snuck off on the near side. Robbie chests the ball back to Troy. Adam wide for Garrett, but uh, a little too far for him, and the Colts will throw the ball in. 
1 1 the score here, 19 and a half left in the first half. Good backtracking from the Panthers. <laughs> and that call is going to go against Troy. I think Troy really feels like he's the one who got taken down there. But again, dangerous opportunity here. They're about uh, 40 yards out. And they're going to put this uh, in a dangerous spot, I'm sure. Ball goes out wide right, cross into the middle. Headed, but not out. Still at the top of the area, no foul here. Here's Caruso. Here's Hateman, clears it long into the center circle. Charval will step up and deal with that. Center back comes down the near sideline and Pizone deflects that ball out for a Colt throw. So Char Valley with their first uh, sustained pressure in the offensive zone of the Panthers really all night. Um, Panthers got to be a little bit more diligent here, win a ball and uh, regain possession. A long throw. Long throw into Hateman's head. There's Tinney in the middle, just past his outstretched foot. Here comes Robbie, settles it down, but uh, loses the ball. Ball coming back, there's Blake with it. Tries to play long, but gets under it a little bit. Here's Pizone heading up to Bell. Ball under his foot. And there's a foul 10 yards shy of midfield. Joseph Bell called for that one, a trip. So this uh, game playing out nicely for the Colts right now. Absolutely. You know, the longer they can hang around and uh, keep this game even, um, you know, obviously the better off they are. And it tactically for the Panthers, you, you, they got to really keep playing their game. They can't get impatient. They can't get crazy and just try to play a bunch of ambitious balls. Play your game, possess. Yeah, so far our best opportunities have come off of a some sort of a buildup through possession. So need to keep that strategy in place. Here's Tinney for the Colts. Good backtracking from Heil to Garrett. His pass is off the mark though, gives it away. Right now we just need to keep our passes short and simple. Good movement off the ball. Here comes Pizone to Mertz. He looks down the line for Anthony. Again, don't need to be so speculative. Robbie brings it down, shielding. Back to Hateman, this is good. Play it through the back to Kiernan. They'll let us have it here, don't forget that. Here's Heil. They want to make their own half of the field a meat grinder. Yeah, this is fine. Worried about our half. But as you mentioned, they can't score if we have the ball. And so build it up, slow build up. Ah. Oh, that hit him in a bad spot. And it's volleyed way over the net. And it will be a Panther goal kick. Uh, Doug, unfortunately, took that in a bad spot. You can tell. Um you know, Char Valley's, they're, they're going to shoot from just about everywhere tonight. If they have any sort of a look from 35 in, they're going to take it. So far, um, you know, Max done fine. Hasn't, whole, hasn't had a whole lot to deal with, which is uh, in credit to the back line there. They're trying to keep things clean. 15 minutes left. Bernhardt with the goal kick. Easily won by Charval. Ball into Hart's head. Flicks it over, it'll go all the way back into Boyle. He's gotta deal with that off the volley. In front of an on-rushing Joel Hart. There's Tenney, Mertz, and Kiernan. Panthers got to be a little more proactive in winning balls right now. I think they're sort of uh, a step slow to the ball, which is unusual for us. And that's going to be a deep Panther throw. Unfortunately, you have Garrett Blake to get the ball out of danger here. And he does every bit of that. Ball in the midfield now. Another throw for Garrett. Such an underrated part of this team. 45 yards further up the field. 
just an unbelievable weapon to change field position. Coming off, Robbie Mertz coming on, Pat Miller. So uh, about 14 minutes left in the game. Or I'm sorry, in the half. Nice touch middle. Panthers control, Miller touches over to Heil. Heil's got a lot of space here. Now he touches wide to McKenzie. McKenzie to Kiernan. They close that down fast. You're right, they're sitting numbers behind the ball and just clogging up our midfield. Yeah, this is right here. This area of the field is their meat grinder. That's where they want, they're gonna step and pressure everything we do in that area of the field. Hoping that the result is that pressure causes us just to play the ball long over the top. Their goalie will gobble them up, run over the end line, and, and that'll that'll take care of the of the danger for them. So challenge for us, I think, is spread the field, spread them out as much as you can. Get our outside guys, which is right now Anthony and Dom, get them wide. When we have the ball, they got to be all the way out on the lines. Spread this defense out, and at the very least, the make them defend there. that whole half. Yep. If they're, if they're only going to worry about defending half the field, you better use it all. Miller, nice ball. Ah, Joel couldn't quite settle it. Kenzie will have a little bit of time here at midfield. Finds Hart. Good turn. Gets it to his right foot. Back for Kiernan. Good pressure there from Joel. He didn't stop coming even after Char Valley won that ball, and it, it leads to a throw-in opportunity for us. Yeah, you can tell Char Valley at all times is very cognizant of where Joel Hart is, and for good reason. Looks like Heil and Pizone off. Uh, Mertz and Sibley back on. Not too long of a break for Rob. We'll see if Robbie slides out to the right. Not sure. Here comes the long throw into the six-yard box. There's Hart. Header! Oh, wow. He scores! Joel Hart with a nice redirected header. Off a long bullet throw from Garrett Blake. That will uh, make, make it 2-1 Panthers here with about 12 minutes, 18 seconds left. Boy, Char Valley's got to be a little disappointed. If there's one guy you got to be marking in that situation, it's Joel Hart. But give Joel a ton of credit. He's so active. He made a great run and, most importantly, a terrific finish. I mean, I think that hit outside net. That's just beautiful on Joel's part. Yeah, it was really nice. And the ball had so much pace on it. Joel didn't have a whole lot to do there but just put it in the right direction. The pace was already on the ball. He didn't have to get the pace off of his head. Um, and that, that was great. Great stuff from Garrett. Troy turning it over. Long shot, there you go. It's They're deflected, to unfortunately. Shoot from anywhere, and that's gonna be a corner kick because I deflected off of Hayden. So it's the first corner of the evening for the Chartiers Valley Colts. And what you can't have happening again for the Panthers here is for the Colts to answer immediately like they did last time. So it looks like is this the elder Tenny taking this one. Ball in. Very Good nice, header Garrett. one on the near post by Blake. There's Caruso playing it out to midfield. It'll be a Colt throw. That's perfectly fine. Just get it out of danger right now. No, no sense in toying with it when you just uh, retook the lead. Boy, Joe Hart just makes an unbelievable difference. Incre incredibly active up top. Good little head there from Miller. This is Mertz, and he's got a lot of room. Find Sibley coming in off the left flank. Hart comes back for the ball. Find oh, Shane beautiful. going through. He's in the area. Two defenders. Got a man wide. Chooses to go to Miller in the middle. That pass is intercepted, but Sibley gets it back out there. He's held. And there's no call. Finally a call. So we're going to get a free kick in a spot very similar to where we were last time. Uh, when Joel took it from 21 out. This is right on the edge of the penalty, right out the corner of the penalty area on the near side. Looks like, Robbie, they're going to try to set up a little bit of a cross here. And I, Two man I'm, wall, Robbie needs to ask for his 10 yards here. I imagine he's, he's going to serve it and does. Oh, Back beautiful. post, Kiernan. Just Kyle Fisher just got ahead on that. In between Hateman and Kieran, two towers there. Nice by Hateman. Very and nice. Be a corner for the Panthers. Good, good tackle one by Hateman there. He tries to serve the ball, and um, that goes out for a Panthers corner. Boy, that was so a Blake and Robbie over. They could go short right now. They are. And they do. Here's Robbie taking the end line. Serves it. Ball in. Ooh. Boyle there. No one running near post. Boyle caught that about the five or six yard line. No one there. So good, uh, 
Good recognition by uh, Garrett and Robbie out there. This is more like it from the Panthers. Some really good sustained pressure. It's Karen inflicts a header to midfield. Caruso in to try to win it. Can't do so. Blake just clears it long down the line. That'll go for a uh, goal kick unless goalie Boyle has something to do with it, which he does. So he picks it up. The way he can punt it, he's going to switch yeah. fields himself. Hayden, nice great job. By Hayden. No, that ball headed down by Caruso. Goes Ooh. forward looking for Hart. Look at Joel he run. He gets around the center back. He's still got the ball in the penalty area. He got Merch trailing. Trying to find his right foot. Ah. Just held on a little bit too long. And he's dispossessed as Chartres Valley comes the other way. There's Shane. Wins it. Looks for Miller in the midfield. He brings it wide near side to Blake. That's good. Re reset and build the attack here. Here's Caruso who started the movement. Try to pass to Robbie down the line, but that's out of bounds. Yeah, Dom's first touch to get by that defender was, was terrific. Blake wins to Robbie. Looking to get down the line. Two defenders there. Nice turn, nice square ball. Miller. Oh, nice idea. I tried to see Troy running on with a little side uh, heel flick. Tell you, Joel comes out, he does that so nicely. Here's Tinney, the younger freshman. Uh, Back on Hateman. McKenzie, near side. Good ball. Finds Kiernan. He's got Mertz and Hart. Hart Joel's was off sides, though, so he didn't chase that one. What I was going to say is uh, Joel does such a nice job driving the defender deep into the area and then checking back into that space that he just left. And he, he, he's so strong on the ball. When he receives the ball with his back to goal, he can hold it up. He can turn the guys. He just It's a really a, a great way for him to help the Panthers maintain possession. And that's a skill, too. Nice little Caruso. Good work up the wing. Hurts to the end line. Crosses Hart. Oh, can't get the shot off. Great combination play from Dom and Robbie there. And Joel, uh, he was there for the hat trick. He just could not quite get the right touch on that, and it just rolls harmlessly into Boyle. Yeah, he's miffed, actually, right now. It was a great opportunity. Dom Caruso's doing really good work up the right wing. Here's Kiernan. Good stuff from the Panthers. Beautiful. Trying to do what they do best, which is play a skillful game. Here's Caruso. Mertz running through. There's Fisher to Boyle. He has to clear. Here comes Sibley. Nice. Smart. Smart, intelligent play. That's right. Now, you know, it's, it never ceased to amaze me how, how a lot of kids, teenage kids, I remember when I was playing soccer, I knew nothing. Oh, <laughs> okay? no. These kids are so intelligent because they've played so much soccer. They've watched so much soccer on TV, which you couldn't do when we were younger. And they just have a sense about them and a soccer IQ that's off the charts. Here's a throw from McKenzie. Oh, they play year-round. To Hart. Trying to get in the area wide to Sibley. Cuts back to his rifle crosses. Char Valley clears that. They're under siege right now, Char Valley. Miller, nice. Nice to get forward and win that, but uh, Char Valley will clear long over midfield. Bernhardt will try to let that run out and gain a throw, which he does. Gets a little, little kiss from uh, Sean Tinney over there, but that won't bother Hayden. No, it doesn't seem to. Physical is not his problem. Funny little story. Hayden drove a kid from Wilson, their big star, Rocky El Gary. Drove him nuts the other night. Must have hit him 20 times. Uh, St. Clair had to host. Here's Sibley chasing the loose ball. Ball oh. comes to Mertz. To Bell. Oh, handball. No, nothing called. I'll finish my story in a second. Here comes <laughs> Charval the other way. There's McKenzie intercepting a potential through ball. Big Whoa. collision there. Play on. They're going to play on. Miller to Mertz. Back to Miller. Goes wide to Bell, can't quite get there. I like the Panthers trying to link up via the pass here, not trying to do too much. Build the attack, we got five and a half minutes left. There's Bernhardt long, looking for Hart, finds him. He's out at the far touch line. 35 out, just lays it back, keeps it for the Panthers to Heil, to the middle, to Miller. Finds McKenzie coming forward out of that left back spot, but the ball off his foot 
and into touch. But they've settled down. I mean, the, the build up, the gradual build up, the nice solid square balls, they, they've really settled down. They're starting to dominate this game. Very nice. As Miller wins a ball to Mertz. He turns, carries, running into the back four. Through for Sibley. This is beautiful. He shoots and scores. Shane Sibley goes right in the five hole. A little toe poke through Calvin Boyle. What a nice little play there. Robbie turned, dribbled in at the back four. He knows Shane's pace. And it's exactly what we talked about. It's very similar to the first goal. If you're going to trap high with the offsides trap, you had better be right. And uh, Shane timed that beautifully, as did Robbie with this pass. And again, they've made no mistake about it. One-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Great finish by Sibley. 3-1 Panthers. Yeah, that was, uh, it was really too easy. Robbie knows the pace Shane has. And he just laid that ball right in between their right back and their central defender. And uh, it's 3-1 Panthers. Now there's just. And a, and a great, let me just add, great finish by Shane. He took it early. Boyle was maybe expecting him to go to the back post, and he just toe poked it right between the legs. I mean, there's just no, there's not going to be any teams around here who can match up in terms of the pure speed of the Panther attackers. And so, you know, you can do, do one of two things, but if you're gonna try to trap high instead of sit back and, and be a little more conservative, you may get burned and it's happened twice now. So four minutes left in this first half, two goals, Whoa. two goals by Hart and uh, the third by Sibley opening his account on the season. In fine fashion, I might add. It's oh, it's a great beautiful. finish. Again, the Panthers doing what they do best there. So, need more of that. No, you could feel it coming. As the possession increased, uh, you saw more high quality soccer. And good job by McKenzie. Shielding very nice. Good work. Again, you do, the one thing, the one area they could be susceptible is that quick counter. And so you've got to play it up and get numbers behind the ball. It's a good work by McKenzie to allow his teammates to get back. Watch for the long throw here from the Colts. Ball in. There's Miller with a header to Mertz. Oh, Flicks it on to Sibley. He's running. He's got heart. He'll look to maybe play him. Good tackle there at midfield. That's good, though. P pressure relieving combination play. Gets the ball out of the dangerous spot. Here's Miller. A lot of room in the center circle. He's got some time on the ball. Plays outside to Bell, to Blake. Looking forward to Hart, but a little too short for him. Got time to turn and does. Here's Joel, he's going, oh, that's a great ball. Sibley's running on, very similar to what we just saw. He's gonna go with the left foot cross, a little too deep, but this is just what you had talked about. Joel had the ball, he held it up, and in fact, he's so good at it, they didn't even pressure, they backed off him, and he turned and was able to create, but another great run from Shane Sibley. So the Panthers are pretty much exerting their dominance through just superior soccer at this point. The possession game, the beautiful runs, and, and the creativity right now is really what's striking. Long throw by Blake, finds Mertz, brings it back. He's on the outside, cuts it inside. There's Bell going down to the end line, but uh, passed just a little too hard for him. Well, it's interesting. It'll probably take him a little while to kind of link up and figure out what some of these guys like to do in their tendencies. Uh, so many of these guys have been playing for together for so long and they just know what each other's going to do. You know, Sibley and Mertz and Kiernan and Joel. It's, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, continuity there. It's one of the reasons that makes their attack so good. There's Bell with his pace outside, looking to get to the end line. He pulls it up, cuts inside to his left foot. Plays to Mertz, top Ooh, of the D. Good idea. Uh, pass is intercepted, though. And here's Tinney. Sean plays long, uh, and Dominic will be able to scoop this up. So I bet you there's one man here that's very happy to see the 3-1 score. <laughs> that's uh, Mac Dominic. Um, good for him, though. He's been, uh, hasn't been, ha hasn't had a whole lot to do since uh, the Colts did score their goal. But um, it's a big night for him. And... Uh, He's doing well to this point, so good for Mac. Yeah, absolutely. Got to be a thrill for him. Good touch. Hart, Mertz turns, dribbles to the middle, looking for Hart. Brings it back the other way. He's knocked down. Still on his feet. Top of the D. Looking for Hart. 
Ball underneath his feet. <laughs> He's stuck, drops it back for Blake. Here's Adam Heil wide to Hart, who slid out to the right side. Oh. He's in for Bell. He's got Mertz in the middle, crosses past everyone. Sibley was there too. Just couldn't quite link up. What 19 a, seconds left. What a great little move by Joel to create space for himself. There's Miller, 13 left. Heil, Panthers would do Ten, well just to kill this. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Great half by the Panthers. 3-1, we'll, we'll be back in the second half. Okay, folks, welcome back. We're back for the second half action here. I'm Rob Mertz, I'm here with Gavin Williams. And um, it was a very nice first half of play by the Panthers, uh, conceding their first goal of the year, but uh, making up for it at the other end. Well, the two good things to talk about are respond to adversity. That's their first taste of adversity this year. Uh, they gave up a goal. They were sort of uh, a, a little bit disjointed for a second, and then all of a sudden they just took over and dominated. And the second thing was how good in terms of the continuity the midfield to the forwards were. I mean, there was just so many great through balls, so many great link ups, and so many great scoring opportunities. And when you get three, that probably means you had a lot of opportunities. And the Panthers really did a great job. Well, let's see what uh, the Colts end up doing here as far as uh, adjustments to what's going on with the Panthers. I mean, with a game being 3-1 uh, now, their strategy is sitting back and letting us come. To, that's not going to work <laughs> unless you want to lose the game. You've got to, uh, they got to score some goals. They're going to have to come out of their shell if they want to have a chance of winning this game or even just tying it and, and sharing the points. They're Sibley on the far side. No, and this isn't one of those games that is so lopsided that they're worried about keeping the score down. They're, they're going to come out and compete, and I think they're, they're going to have to push some numbers forward, but when you do that, you take some chances, and the Panthers' counterattack is very, very strong. So the Panthers pick up where they left off, dominating a little bit of possession early. This is Blake touching to Rob Mertz. Oh, Robbie with a nice little toe drag through. Good little through ball to Caruso. He'll get there. Okay, we'll get a throw right on Garrett Blake's side. So this is uh, what the Panthers are looking for. A couple set piece chances here early. Blake with the run up. The throw, driven low into the near post. He'll get another chance here from a little further out. It's like he's varying up. Uh, he's varying up his throws like you would, you know, a corner. He's throwing some hard and low, some a uh, little more lofting, and uh, he's doing a great job. Very dangerous. Now we've mentioned this in years past, but you'd love to see as a ball driven again low and headed out by the Colts. You'd love to see the Panthers get someone in front or even two guys in front of the goalie just to make it difficult for him to come out and, uh, and grab any of those balls off the throw or the corner. Here's the long throw to Mertz, flicks a header. Hart trying to get that ball to the end line. He does, crosses, cleared out at near post. And here comes Kyle Fisher out for the Colts. Long over midfield. Hayden is going to ride this out. Boy, there are balls you just don't think Joel Hart can possibly get to, and he gets to. It's yeah, just it's incredible. Just, it's, it's very easy to see what the coaches at American University saw in him <laughs> and offered him uh, a chance to come play collegiate soccer. There's Mertz back to uh, Caruso, just a little too heavy on the touch. John played that ball looking to give and go with Robbie there. Uh, a little bit behind Robbie and by the time he corralled it um, his touch was a little heavy so that rolls out over the end line for a Colt goal kick. Yeah American's getting a good one. There's no question in my mind I've been you know a part of this soccer program for a long time and I haven't seen many better. Miller forward to try to win a header. Hateman. Back to Miller, great work rate, Pat Miller. That's one of his trademarks. Here's Kiernan. Wide for McKenzie, can't get to it. And there's Pat on cue, coming back and checking back to disrupt the attack. Sibley's got a little bit of space here. Boy, great pace, he's faster with the ball than the defender coming on. Trying to curl a ball for Robbie Mertz. That'd be a throw, so Garrett will jog over. Yeah, Robbie with that healthy hamstring, you can see the wheels on him this year. I'm sure he's uh, 
nice and freed to be able to do some of the runs that he loves to do. And uh, he forced a uh, Panther throw deep here, and they're going to let Garrett come all the way across the field to take it. Let's see if they do a little bit of a different tactic here than they did just moments ago. Garrett went high or low and hard. He's doing Drives it Drives this one. There's Crusoe back post. And Hateman was there, but he couldn't put the finishing touch. Robbie gets it before it goes out of bounds. Pulls it back, trying to get to the end line. One-on-one, -on -one, 1v2 now to the end line. Here comes the cross. There it is. Oh, no one home. Ball lands about 14 yards out. Here comes uh, Charval the other way. Caruso backtracks, though, wins a ball with a little bit of help from Pat Miller. Boy, those were two terrifically dangerous crosses right down the wheelhouse. Magical stuff from Robbie Mertz down the right wing there. Here's Bernhardt. Pushing ahead forward. Of steam forward, passing, looking maybe through for Dom there, but uh, pass didn't connect. Header won by McKenzie. Here's Miller. Blake forward looking to hit a tackle hard and wins that cleanly. Here's Tinney for the Colts. Throw in Panthers. So yeah, it's just, uh, I think the Panthers asserting themselves here quite nicely. And uh, I think it's a matter of time before we get our fourth goal, if we can keep doing what we're doing here. Oh, absolutely. Pat Miller, nice little hesitation go. Touching, oh, Hart tried to flick it on a Sibley, almost got it, here's Mertz. Over top for Hart, nice ball to the end line. Can he get there? And he can't, just a uh, little too fast. Good idea. Boy, those three are just dangerous at all times up that side. Shane Sibley's having a really strong night. Yeah, Shane's, uh, it's gonna be a great year for Shane. Um, he's been playing really well for his club team this year. Just got absolute pace to burn. He's, he's so quick and fast. He works hard defensively, great skill with his feet, very deceptive with the ball at his feet, and he's, uh, he's gonna have a good year, no doubt. Robbie off his thigh, carries forward. He's got Caruso, puts a ball into his path. He'll be able to keep this in, down into the corner. Crosses for Kiernan off his chest to the six yard volleys. Oh, oh. just wide of that back post. He was there, Boyle was all alone. He was stranded in the net and uh, Troy just couldn't find the, uh, the back post with that shot. So good stuff again from the Panthers. Mertz to Caruso, back to Kiernan. He took that well off his chest and uh, had a good chance there. Yeah, he did the hard part. The trap was gorgeous right down yeah. his feet and he blasted it and it just wide. He, he struck it well. Boyle with the kick. Mertz there, heads it forward to Hart. Again to Mertz, dribbles out of pressure. Plays wide to Sibley. One time to Hart, back down the line for Sibley, but just too far. <laughs> this is getting fun to watch. These guys are really starting to move the ball around. So Panther foul, McKenzie got, a, got a hands up in the back and here come the Colts. Like to uh, give a little shout out to our cameraman tonight, Brian Schrott, handling the duties up here on the veranda. Thanks, Brian. Robbie looking for Shane. Had a lot of space in oh, front of him. Shane move. getting to the end line. Crosses. There's Caruso. Ooh. Oh, just wide of that back post. Dom making a good, strong near post run. Sibley with the service, uh, but just couldn't quite. Find the net. You just talked about the deception of his moves, and he had two guys on him essentially, and they both thought he was going to play the ball back, and the change of direction down, and a great turn, and a left handed cross. And Caruso got his head on it. It was a terrific run, too. Yeah, Shane is just very slippery. He's, he's, he'll pause and go so quickly, he just gets defenders off balance, and, and then he's gone. He makes you look silly. And the thing I like most about Sibley's game this year, he's just playing with a lot more confidence than he has um, in years past. And you mentioned it, we were talking at halftime, upperclassmen now, uh, you know, just feeling it a little bit more. And, and you can see the results on the field are, are speaking loudly for that. Uh, it's a big difference psychologically. Being around coaching for as long as I have, you just see when the kids, the transformation between a sophomore and a junior is massive. 
regardless of how good you are. It's just a massive thing. You feel like you belong a little bit more. Kiernan wins a header to clear that throw. Here's Dom looking down the line. Picked off by the Colts. Pass uh -oh. Blake. Here's Tinney. Hayden wins a tackle to Mertz. Turns. Long over Hart's head. He looks. Here comes Sibley. Shane's in. Left foot shoots. Ooh. Oh, wide of the near post. Good job backtracking by that defender just to throw Shane off balance a little bit. Um, but we had some good, uh, it was a good long ball by Robbie. Had actually two options there, Shane and Joel. And the uh, ball fell a little bit better for Shane, so he went after that one. They're both so fast. It was like <laughs> looking at each other and saying, who's going to take this ball? It was a gorgeous ball. It ended up going perfect for two guys running on Sibley with just unbelievable pace. So it's a little bit of a shooting gallery right now as the Panthers possessing and, and linking up and just some beautiful stuff. 30 minutes left in the second half. 3-1 Panthers lead. Now, if you love, if you love soccer and good high-quality soccer, you, you've got to be impressed by what you're seeing right now. It is really, really, really high-level stuff. This is Kiernan. Here comes Mertz. Going to be some pressure here. Does well to keep it and turn. Runs at those backs. Finds Miller looking for Sibley, but uh, path's a little off the mark. Here's Kiernan. Mertz will pick it up again near the top of the D. Over top for Caruso. Off his head. Oh, and into, into uh, Boyle's hands. Just tons of uh, opportunities here. Well, they were worried about Joel. You could tell they sort of collapsed to Joel, and Joel had to stop his run to stay on sides, and they didn't see Caruso coming on the backside. He did a great job. top again for Hart. Oh, head of steam into the speed. box. Good sliding tackle there by the defender to uh, knock that ball over the end line for a Panther corner. Well, that's his best chance because he could see Joel pulling away with that pace and uh, you know he said that's my last chance to get him and he did a nice job getting the ball cleanly. So we got another corner and this is I believe Robbie Mertz again taking it. He's had some dangerous ones but they have not yet scored off a corner. Or did with Joel's Ball served in, yeah. back post. There's Kiernan, headed again. It's gonna go over the end line corner, other side. So Robbie will uh, run over and handle the duties here. Boy, they've just been almost consistently dangerous this whole half, just basically opportunity after opportunity. Yeah, but uh, we need something to show for it on the scoreboard, don't we? You certainly do. Ball served low, near post to Blake. Miller wins that one. Still got Mertz wide. Plays it to him. Runs at the outside back. Cuts it back to his left foot. Oh. Turns wide to Blake. He can serve it. He does. To the back post. There's Hateman over his head. Kiernan, left foot volley. High and wide. So good pressure by the Panthers again. Oh, I mean, the, the quality opportunities is just, it's incredible here. And you are right that they need to capitalize, and it's good practice to, to try and do so. But I can assure you, the, the Colts are not going to survive 40 minutes of this uh, without giving up some goals. It's just, it's not the way it works. Good ball one there by Kiernan. But uh, Charval comes up with it, plays it long, deep. It's kept in there. No, it is not. Out. McKenzie quick throw to Miller. Finds Robbie. Quickly plays it down to Sibley on that left flank. Oh, a little oh. hesitation, turn move. He's into the box. He's got hard if he cuts it, he does. There's Joel. Oh, the shot just off a defender. Here's Kiernan, wins the ball at the top of the D. Tinney turns out of that one. Miller forward to Hart. Turns into the area, Sibley wide. It's tackled, played up the line by the Colts. I mean, that stop and go move from Sibley was the exact same one we saw earlier, and it's just incredible how quick he turns that. So we got some, uh, let's see, Bell's back in and Hiles back in and. Sam Dudley, uh, first action of the night. Sam's a newcomer to the team. He's a senior, playing up top in midfield mostly. So we're pulling out the three front runners. Really nice job by them. They created a ton of chances for the Panthers there. Here comes Mertz to the end line, settles it down. 
Touched out for a corner. All right, let's see if the Panthers can finally get one here. Doug Hateman again coming up from his defensive spot. Uh, he's obviously very tall and very aggressive, um, trying to look for his head. With Joel out of the game, it'll be interesting to see who else you have. Do have Troy Kiernan who's Service won a lot from of Mertz. Ball. There it is, six yard line. Kiernan can't get his head on it. He was the closest man to it. Here comes Blake looking to get the end line, and he's fouled. So that'll go the Panthers' way. Free kick for the Panthers. Looks like Garrett will serve this one. Hateman near post. That goal. To Bell, looked and like he a buries it. It did look like a handball. It went off of, uh, and the goalie Boyle saying, what about the handball? <laughs> But he's not going to get it. So Panther goal, that's the fourth of the night. Uh, Joseph Bell's first goal of the year. And um, that'll make it 4-1 Panthers. So uh, Joe in a good spot there and just took that. You got to give him credit, though, because, it, you know, it wasn't a given just because that ball got put down to his feet that you were going to score from there. And that was a really high-quality strike. He drilled that. Make no, make no mistake. Yeah, and he took it early. He, he shot that ball the first opportunity he had to shoot it, and that uh, that's tough for a goalie when you bring him in. So they're going to have a goalie change here for uh, Chartres Valley. Calvin Boyle off and uh, Austin Fisher on. He's a junior. Plays his club soccer at uh, Century United. Here's Mertz through to Bell. He's got some pace into the top of the area. Sliding tackle by Fisher. Bell turns. Dudley's there, he shoots and scores! Sam Dudley with his first goal of the year. So Austin Fisher's greeted by <laughs> a ball straight off of uh, one off the kickoff and it comes straight forward from Mertz to Bell to Dudley in the back of the net. Well, as we, as we mentioned. Number 12, Sam Dudley off an assist by number 11, Joseph Bell. As we mentioned, you weren't gonna have those type opportunities all night and keep them off the scoreboard. Um, the impressive thing about that was Bell had it and he had the pace and he looked like he was gonna get ahead and get a shot off, but he spun and dropped it off beautifully. A little square ball and Dudley left, no doubt. Talk about instant offense. Those two come on and get two goals in about a minute. Yeah, how about that? All the, uh, all the pressure we had for 12 or 13 minutes there and then we sub and boom, two goals, so. Uh, you, they wore him down. So now the floodgates have opened a little bit, and it'll be interesting to see how this sort of continues the rest of the way. Great touch. Bell, good touch from Bell, steps over the ball, plays to Heil, near side, back to Bell. He's got Mertz in the middle. Tries to go through for Heil. Fisher's out, though, to get that one. That's a nice little attempt at a link up, too. I think everybody almost has the right idea right now in terms of the way they're possessing. It also helps the Panthers winning every ball almost uncontested in the midfield. There's Robbie running at the center back. Ball's tackled off of his foot, but one back by Blake. Here's Bell in the area, volleys. Just wide of that back post. I think he, it, it sort of was a half volley there and, and the ball got stuck. He didn't get all he wanted to on that shot. So we got some substitutions coming in the game. Going to see Davis, Caroga, Russell, Schrott, Pizzone, and Cherup. That's Frankie Cherup. I think Zach's uh, out injured today. So. Yeah, he has, concu he has a concussion right now, okay. actually. So I see quite a few changes here for the Panthers. Sean Tenney running on this ball deep into the ch left channel for the Panthers, or for the Colts, I'm sorry. Hayden turns him and clears it back to midfield. Goes all the way back to Fisher. He plays it long over the midfield. Bernhardt wins that. Mertz settles. Nice little touch pass to Miller. He's looking for Bell or Dudley there. Couldn't quite find him. Here's Dudley. He's feeling it now. Plays to Mertz. Turns it back. Plays through looking for Kiernan. And he is uh, a little collision there. Bell's going to uh, get called for tripping. Troy and Kyle Fisher got tangled up there. 
as they were both going for the ball. The newcomer's a bit of a fan favorite over there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fisher with the free kick. Plays long, Mertz wins a header, bells off sides. Hiles not, comes in to the area. He shoots, he scores! Adam Hile, don't know what the Charvel defense was doing there, but that's a Hiles second of the year. It's Mertz's third assist of the night. 22 and a half minutes left, it's 6-1 Panthers. They've opened up a can of uh, you know what here on the, on the Colts. I think after the fourth goal, the Colts have been demoralized. They didn't even attempt to defend there for reasons that kind of escape you. And, uh, yeah, a lot of the Panthers uh, starters right now, I don't think we're going to see much the rest of the night. Uh, they they, they uh, got to play again Thursday, so might as well yeah. uh, give them a little rest. Yeah, I think they're uh, they're done for the night, which is good. Boy, what, a, what an unbelievable second half. This has been as – in terms of just high quality soccer against an opponent that is not a bad opponent, um, is about as good as I've seen. Uh, Charval will win some games this year, no doubt. Um, so let's just set the lineup here. We got a lot of changes. We got Heil, Bell, and Dudley across the top. Daniel Caroga, the sophomore, at that attacking mid position. At the holding mids, we've got Spencer Davis. And I think we might need another player here. <laughs> we're, we're short one. Uh, the backs, we've got Schrott, Pizone, Cherup, and Russell. So we need uh, we need another holding mid, and it looks like it might be Sibley has won the, the argument on the sideline. A lot of players <laughs> wanting to get in. But we're down a man right now. Ball played through. There's Dominic with his first touch of the second half, I believe. We're 21 minutes left. Joel wants his hat trick. He's lobbying. Looks like Sibley's going to come back into the game. Here's Caroga. Bell is uh, was fouled. They're not going to let the advantage play out there, though. If I'm Coach Schneider, I tell Joel Hart he is not going back into the <laughs> game. Oh, Sibley's been supplanted by uh, by Pat Miller. The seniors uh, pulling rank. Oh no, they're back to, <laughs> back to Sibley. We're watching the sidelines here. So Shane will come in. Um, and get our 10th field player on here. They don't need to sub. He should be able to just send just him on. Freely. If the ref just has to acknowledge that he can come on. There doesn't have to be a substitution. But I've never seen it you happen. You know what? In a whip eel, who knows? <laughs> there might be some other rule that doesn't exist anywhere else in the soccer universe except for this little bubble we call Western Pennsylvania here. So here we go, Panthers with a free kick, 45 yards out. It's Cherup, plays it on the ground into the top of the D. Caroga working hard, trying to win a ball. Tinney plays it forward. Pazone physically coming forward. There's Schrott, good ball wide for Heil. Off of his foot and out of bounds. Sibley in the game now. At one of those holding midfield positions. There's Davis, turns. Plays to the channel for Heil. Tries to slide and save that ball from going to the end line, but can't do so. You know, one of the hallmarks of the Panthers teams over the past couple of years has been the unbelievable depth they have in terms of not having much drop off when you sub. Uh, and, and it's just, there's just so much talent on this team. Yeah, it really is. Um, you know, you'll, you'll see uh, any number of players come in the game at any time for the Panthers and perform at a very high level. And uh, that's just a testament to the youth program in Upper St. Clair and the numbers that they numbers of talented kids that they generate and, and develop through the years and it shows up in the high school program. Oh, it's just unbelievable how far it's come since I was growing up in this district and playing soccer. It just is uh, incredible and it's a real tribute as you mentioned to you know a lot, a lot of guys who put in a lot of time. Nice header one there by Caroga to Dudley. He cuts it back. Now we'll turn and take some space off the dribble. Plays to Davis. 
Wide to Russell. Brings it in, finds Sibley in the middle. Colts have stopped running here. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're thoroughly demoralized at this point. 19 minutes left in this game. Dudley called for a jumping in foul. It's tough though. I mean, you don't, don't see teams of this quality very often and it is demoralizing to be down by this type of margin in soccer. This section is just so strong. I mean, with Cannon Millen and Peters Township and Upper St. Clair, it is just an unbelievably strong section this year. Yeah, the Panthers are going to, uh, they've got their work cut out for them the next couple of weeks. They've got Brashear on Thursday night and next Tuesday, they will uh, have to go down to Cannonsburg and deal with, deal with the Big Macs. And that's gonna be a heck of a contest. That's obviously a, a team that uh, they, Beat several times in the regular season, beat them in the state playoffs, but the one blemish on the record last year was that Whipple Finals, and I'm sure the kids have not forgotten. There's a corner kick for the Colts. <clears throat> Ball served in, six yard box header. Tinney right into Dominic's waiting hands. Good job there from Mack. He was in the right position to gobble that one up. Yeah, good for him, let's make some saves. Good punt by Mack. Out Beyond midfield, Bell gets a hold of that. Caroga plays out wide, gets to Dudley. Russell's looking to get around him. Yeah, trying to do an overlapping run. But the ball's played behind him. So here comes Cherup over to Pizone in the middle. Comes wide looking for Heil. Can he keep it in? He does. Plays Davis down into the channel. There's Fisher. That'll be a Charval throw all the way down in the corner. So our goal scorers tonight, Joel Hart notched the first two for the Panthers. Shane Sibley followed up with that third goal in the first half. The second half, it's been Joseph Bell, Sam Dudley, and Adam Heil with the goals. And let's not forget our midfield maestros, Kiernan and Mertz, with a lot of assisting and a lot of uh, facilitating. Through ball by Davis there, just a little too far for Bell. So Austin Fisher, the, the Colts goalie, will come up with it. Drop kicks that ball well over midfield. Cherup with the header to Schrott. Looking for Davis. Tinney comes forward for the Colts. Back to Fisher. He carries the ball forward and he's fouled. 20, uh, 28 yards out, no. Are they gonna call the foul the other way? <laughs> it's a Panther, Panther free kick. Good step by the Colts there, but ooh, Sibley almost won that again. Here's the Panthers, Frank Cherup's got some room. Even though the game has changed here a little bit, the feel of this game, the Panthers really don't need to change their game. It still should be a control pass the ball. They'll break them down off the pass. They don't need to get too anxious and go forward too speculatively. Just keep uh, making the simple passes and let the game flow. Here's Davis in the middle of the field. Plays a ball down for Heil on that right flank. He's into the area. He's gonna cross it back for Sibley. Shot, bobbled by Fisher, but eventually picked up. Yeah, Shane just didn't get what he wanted on that one. Yeah, just missed it a bit, really. Um, pretty good buildup, a uh, nice ball from Davis to Heil. Yeah, great buildup. Here's Sibley in the middle. He sort of slid up into that attacking mid position. Oh, Plays over ball. for Dudley. He's in the area on his left foot. Can't quite control it though, and that goes over the end line to be a Colt goal kick. That's a shot there. He had a half a step on the goal or on the defender early. Needs to take the shot early rather than um, let the defender close him down. I know a lot of players coming off the left side, if they're not left footed, they're not comfortable taking that shot early, but it's really that, it really is the play there. Oh, absolutely. So a goal kick for the Colts. 14 and a half minutes left. Oh, good work up the wing by Canoga. Oh, it's through. Oh, Shane just missed it with his left. 
That was great pace up the wing and then a nice little cross sort of against the grain, a square ball. And I think it hopped on Shane at the last second. He got decent, decent foot on it with his left, but uh, wide of the goal. Panthers still creating great opportunities here. Yeah, it was good work from Daniel Caroga there. He is a lefty, so he gets down that left side. He feels very comfortable and uh, put a good cut, cut that ball back well for Sibley. And uh-oh, here we go. Shane with a chance. Good ball from Davis. We got Heil here with some room. She cuts it back, looking for an overlapping run. Good possession. Uh, ball played over the sideline by Schrott, so. Colts throw, they'll get some possession and play the ball long. Cherup will deal with that. Forward towards Caroga over his head though. Bell plays it into Sibley, good ball to Hiles' feet. Shane looking to add into the attack and does. Shane in the D and he's fouled there, but no call. Maybe he slipped over, maybe tripped over the ball. I don't know. I can't see from up here. But, you probably uh, aren't going to get that at this stage. Yeah, the ref didn't want to call it. Here's Dudley, wide left. Oh, nice Gets move. Gets the ball down to the end line. Cuts it for Sibley. There he goes. Left foot, shot, save. Oh, oh he biked it. Fisher made a nice point blank save on Bell. And uh, then Heil was left all alone at the near post uh, with the rebound and just. Uh, couldn't put the finishing touch on it, went over the bar. Yeah, and it bounced on him a bit, but boy, great work up the wing from Dudley. That little stop and go hesitation dribble, uh, he beat him clean and a nice cross. Yeah, it's the third or fourth time that Shane has put himself in a position to get a, to receive a, a ball that's cut back from the end line. And um, he just hasn't been able to find the, the right finishing touch or almost on, in that case, um, Fisher made the initial save and the ball came back to Bell he made another save, getting his paw down to, to deflect the bell shot and then uh, high all over the bar. So good stuff from the Panthers. 11, uh, 12 minutes left here. Yeah, Shane's been one of the best guys on the field tonight and uh, he, he could easily have you know three or four goals, no question about it. Cherup intercepts the attack, good check back by Schrott. And here goes Shane again. Man, out for a Panther throw. Looks like we've got a couple more Panther subs. Pat Miller coming in the game. Matt McKenzie coming in the game on the uh, right midfield position at right forward. Sibley out, Miller in. Uh, terrific night from Shane Sibley. Yeah, great stuff. Good stuff from Adam Heil and Shane. Absolutely, and they both got on the uh, score sheet tonight. Davis finds Schrott. Schrott touches up, looking for McKenzie. Ball's going to run a long way. And Bell, here comes Bell with some pace outside. McKenzie, good sliding tackle from Kyle Fisher there. And he eventually wins that ball forward, looking for Tinney, who's off sides. So good effort there from Kyle Fisher. He's an all Whippeal player, senior leader on this team. Good touch, Kroger couldn't quite get there. Oh, good job, they got some room here. Gonna play Dudley again wide. A just offsides. Off sides. Well, what you have situation there is you get the three front runners for the Panthers that are pretty much just running straight up the field. One or maybe two of them need to Need to run across the back line, um, helping keep themselves on sides and also uh, trying to find the gaps in between the backs for the Colts. Here's Fisher clearing one long over the touch line near midfield for a Panther throw. The newcomer Bell is a nice luxury to have because he can run so well. When you substitute and can bring in somebody with that type of pace fresh, um, you know, puts a lot of pressure on the back line of the other teams. 
I will say this may be the fastest upper St. Clair team I've ever seen. Well, that's saying something because you've seen a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, the two-time state championship team was probably the most skilled team I ever saw in 03 and 04, but they didn't have the pure pace that this team has. Thackenthal and Mackey up top, there, there were some, some oh, runners, but yeah, you're right, this team's, there's Caroga looking to find McKenzie on a give and go, but the ball just a little too far and hard over the end line. 8.50 left, 6-1 Panthers here against the Colts. Yeah, that team did their damage with being tall and skilled and superlative in the midfield with uh, Dilly and Conboy and uh, those guys. But I'll tell you what, uh, Robbie Mertz and Troy Kiernan do not take a back seat to anybody. They were majestic in, in terms of uh, facilitating. And Troy's doing a great job uh, winning balls and sort of taking on that role that Kevin Muck did so well last year. I'm really impressed. Troy's such a big kid in addition to being so skilled. Um, he's big. He's tall and athletic and... Uh, he can he can be tough, yeah, tough to deal with in a midfield. That versatility is going to serve him well. But uh, this team, you know, the sky's the limit, really. Uh, they they have every component you would want to have to be a high quality team. It's going to be really interesting to see how they develop as the year goes along. Nice touch by McKenzie. Way up in the air. And they got Bell for a little bit of a clear out there. Good battle in the midfield there. And Davis unfortunately handles it. And the Colts are going to get a free kick yeah, here. Yeah, they'll get that call at this point of the game. <laughs> for sure. We got seven and a half minutes to go here in the second half. The Panthers with a commanding 6-1 to one lead over the Chartiers Valley Colts, as advertised so far for your Upper St. Clair Panthers. And I'm trying to figure out how to retrieve the score sheet that I just dropped over the fence. <laughs> Where did you drop <laughs> onto it? The, onto the ledge of the... Uh, <laughs> I can get that very easily, okay, thankfully. Okay, well, this is our acrobat cabin. <laughs> and you going to get a shot of this, Mr. Schrott? I would not. Yeah. <laughs> we, there we go. He's the man. He's younger than I am. He's spry and can still... Uh, Leap tall buildings in a single bound, right? My fitness is very questionable <laughs> at this point. <laughs> well, at least we didn't get wet tonight up here. Here come the Colts. Tinny, tons of space. Plays to his brother, Sean, top of the area. Going to try to get a shot off, but Cherub snuffs that opportunity out. Good job out and by wins Frankie ball. Cherub. It just took a little too long. Got to, again, take that shot early there, Tinny. Here comes Kroger the other way. Long over the top for McKenzie. He's not offsides. He's in. Takes a oh. shot off the near post. Hit that with his outside of his left foot. Ricochets off the near post and back into the middle of the area, but the Colts get a handle on it and clear it up towards midfield. What a strike. Is McKenzie yeah. miscast in the back there? Wow. I didn't expect that at all. What a strike. Yeah, he, uh, he likes his left foot and decided to take that with the outside just to get a little different angle on that shot, and it worked out for him. Here he is flicking a ball on with his head. I can assure you as cleanly as that was hitting, as much as that was curving, that was not going to be saved. No, was that, the, the goalie did not have that covered. <laughs> that was definitely in the net if uh, it had been on, on target. Bell lays it down for Kuroga with his head. But the Colts come forward and win that. Nice little move there, little uh, deception. Uh, uh, Shrot, good though. tackle by JP to win that ball. Here comes Dudley wide, and that'll... Uh, Go out for a Colt throw. Five minutes left. Ow. Another foul, Davis um, in the midfield there. Colt player down. I don't know whether they get stepped on or they're going to stop the clock with 4.56 left. Uh oh, and All that on the trainer. Yeah, it looks like an issue. So yeah, it's been a good night for the um, fundraising effort tonight. Uh, goals for giving fundraising effort for the uh, Booster, St. Clair uh, Boys Soccer Booster Club with six goals on the scoreboard. I can feel my wallet getting lighter. <laughs> 
That's 10 on the season so far for the Panthers, so. I'm a happy pledge participant, but uh, with this team, I, I guess I didn't think it through as clearly as I could have. The team's going to score a <laughs> lot of goals this year. Well, when I called you about that, Kevin, I tried to downplay the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you definitely uh, you want to support it. It's a great cause. I recommend everybody out there in Pantherland to uh, participate because it's a terrific idea that the boosters are doing. Um, but uh, be careful how much you pledge. This team's this team's liable to put a big dent in your wallet. Uh, six tonight, and with Brashear coming on Thursday, it could be a, a <laughs> whole avalanche week. coming. <laughs> so to look ahead, we have Brashear on on Thursday here at Upper St. Clair, and then a big week next week. Rob, correct? Cannon Mac on Tuesday at Cannon Mac. Next Saturday, Panthers travel back down to Highmark Stadium to take on their border rival, Bethel Park Blackhawks. And uh, that should be a very entertaining game. The boys and the girls will be playing down there next Saturday, the 14th of September. So if you can, make plans to be there. Well, so that's a doubleheader. It is a doubleheader. No, I won't miss that and one. If I'm not mistaken, the JV teams are going to get to play there too, which is just huge uh, for all the boys and girls are involved in that. Um, it's just a great opportunity to play at a really special venue. So the uh, Chartres Valley players being helped off. He looks like he's uh, in a considerable amount of discomfort with an ankle or a knee or something. So hopefully he'll be okay. We're fortunate we have the best in the business here, trainer John Sears, who's uh, showing off his expertise. I, I believe that that's number 16. Can you see the jersey there, Gavin? I think you're right. That would be Charles Kovach. He's a freshman. I'm guessing the younger brother of Tom Kovach, who also went off injured with his shoulder earlier in the game. So not a uh, not a good night for the Kovach brothers. No, it'd be a tough night to be in that household. That's for sure. And the Panthers, you know, got some injury issues too with the concussions and things going. And uh, you know, with concussions, you just you never sort of know how long. Yeah, rightly so. The training staff is very cautious with those. Here's Tinney, Fisher, wide, trying to get it back. Russell takes it away from him. Gives it away to Tinney. He makes a move around one man past Davis, looking to shoot. He does. Here's a ball in, and it's wide, the back post. So Dominic, uh, not much to do there, given that the uh, Tinney shot was wide. Cherup in to take the th or the goal kick for the Panthers. I'm glad he's done well tonight and quitted himself quite well. It's uh, got to be a really difficult experience to be thrust into the fire there. Well, you use the word experience. It's great experience for him, and uh, he'll he'll benefit from that. Bell dragged it around him. Fakes a t nice touch middle. McKenzie back here to again. McKenzie, back to Bell. He'll look to get the end line. No cuts it back to his left foot. Now down to the end line. Back to McKenzie on his left foot. Plays it back to Miller who backtracks to create some space for himself. Turns it back in. Had Russell coming up the side. This is some beautiful football though. Now into the area for Caroga. Fisher will clear that out with a header. Here comes Davis, Caroga cuts it back. There's McKenzie. He buries that one, no mistake, with the left foot. I'll be honest, they deserve to score there. That buildup and the way they possessed and the, all the touches were just gorgeous, uh, facilitated by a lot of different guys. Dudley did great work up the wing, as did Pat Miller, but McKenzie with a strong finish, and that's number seven. So three and a half minutes left here. Seven to one Panthers. Bell takes it away from uh, Fisher. And there comes the Colt goalie out to just clear that out of a very hot kitchen. There's McKenzie, they're feeling it now. The Panthers, everyone on the field. Tons of confidence. 
they feel like they can execute anything out there right now, and they're trying. <laughs> That's for sure. Here nice. comes Dudley. He tries a little move to get to the end line, but Russell comes up and wins it. Good ball wide to McKenzie. Gets in on his left foot, tries that volley. That ball's well, well long and wide. So uh, he'll go, the ball will come back to the six yard line for a goal kick. Center back Kyle Fisher, another collision. He's had a rough night. Well, he actually took, I think, the left boot of McKenzie on the follow through, okay. which is not, not feeling good, I'm sure. Goal kick taken short. Comes Fisher forward. He's dispossessed by Davis and uh, he'll foul him. He's gonna get a card for that one. Is there card accumulation from one game to the next? I don't believe so. I was gonna say, cause it would be frustrating if that was. Uh... Yellow card for Kyle Fisher and that'll be the end of his night. Just over two minutes left here. Got to be a frustrating night. Just, I mean, he was just the onslaught and the siege all night, and uh, it's exhausting when you got waves and waves of guys coming at you all night. Yeah, Kyle's a good player. He, he gave it everything tonight. It's just uh, they're up against it against this Panther team. I think that's going to be a story we're going to be telling quite a bit this year. So free kick. Davis will uh, handle the duties here. That's just over the crossbar. He went for goal there. So, I, you know, I don't know that I really saw this score line coming early in the game. It looked like it was going to be a little more competitive than that. You know, this game's 7-1, and it could, be, <laughs> it could be 12 or 13 right now. Um, but... No, the first 20 to 25 minutes were not that one-sided. The Panthers uh, had the majority of the possession and certainly the majority of the uh, territorial advantage, but boy, nothing like this. And here's Dudley here's again. Here's Dudley, four coming forward against the three in the back line at the Colts. Dudley tries to play it back for Davis, who does end up winning that ball. Here comes Russell to Davis. Wide for Dudley. Got Caroga in the middle. Back post, there's McKenzie. Bell with a shot. Wide, high and wide. Clock counting down. One minute left in this contest. And for the Colts and their faithful, it cannot go faster, fast enough. Well, Gavin, I want to thanks for, thank you for coming up and uh, being a part of this tonight. It's been great having you. I hope we can get together here many more times this year. Absolutely, I'm, I should be here Thursday and I will definitely be there Saturday broadcasting or not, I can't wait. Uh, anytime I get a chance to go to Highmark, I go. And thanks again to Brian Schrott on the camera. Here's Caroga, shot, he oh, scores! He blasted that one from the top of the D with his left foot, cleanly beating goalie Austin Fisher. And uh, <laughs> that'll just about do it for the evening. That's 8-1 Panthers. What an incredible strike from the sophomore yeah. with his left foot, upper 90 right corner. Well done by Daniel there. He's been playing well, deserves that goal. That's his first varsity goal, I would guess. Long shot, 20 seconds. That is his first varsity goal. That's correct, sir. Got a couple, got a couple of those probably coming. So yeah, Panthers in action next uh, Thursday night against Brashear. And guys, come on and see this team, please. This team is well worth your time. And that'll do it, folks. Eight-one victory against the Shar Valley Colts here tonight for the Panthers. So, well done, Gavin. Again, thanks, Brian. Thank you, and we'll uh, see you next time.